Hi everybody, this is Miss Tamara. Thank you for joining me for another yoga practice. Today I will teach you three warrior poses. Something that's really important when you do the warrior poses is to know your right and your left. So what I do is I hold up my index finger and my thumb on both hands and on the left side it makes a perfect L in the right direction. If you look at the right hand, it's a backwards L. So you can always check on your left hand to remind yourself that's my left side. So let's start together. If you have a yoga mat, you can stand on your mat. You can do this on a clean floor or carpet or even outside. But for now, make sure you have some space to step back behind you. And I hope wherever you are, you're healthy and safe. And I look forward to seeing you sometime soon in person. Let's bring our hands to the heart. Stand up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, take your arms out wide and up, reach for the stars. As you exhale, soften your knees and bow forward. Take an inhale breath, bring your palms to your knees, look forward, nice flat back. As you exhale, plant your palms and fold. Inhale to rise up again, big stretch as you reach up. Hands come to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms go wide and up. A nice way to warm ourselves up. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway, palms to your knees. Look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up again. Stay standing. Hands at your heart center. Let's make our way to downward dog. Inhale, reach up and back. Soften your knees, fold forward. Step your right and left foot back. Make an upside down V shape with your body. Take a big breath in. Press your heels toward the mat as you exhale. You can keep your knees bent. You can even make some dog noises if you like. Press into your hands, pull your hips away from your hands and try to look between your knees. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. On your next breath in, reach your right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step your right foot through inside of your right thumb. And if you're not sure which is right and left, look at your hands. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, bend your right knee a lot. Extend up to the sky like you could pick stars right out of the sky. Make your body long as you reach up, bend your right knee more as you exhale. Be proud and strong like a warrior. Maybe your hands even come together to touch and you look up. One more breath in, reach up. Hands come all the way down to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in through your nose. A breath out through your nose. On your inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Step your left foot through inside of your left thumb. Check your hands if you need to figure out which is left and right. Reach your arms up to the sky. Bend your left knee a lot. Keep reaching up like you could pick those stars out of the sky. Tall and proud like a warrior. Strong through the feet. Maybe palms come together. Maybe you look up. Take one more inhale. Reach up. As you exhale, hands come down to the mat, step back again, downward dog. And now come all the way down onto your knees, all the way down onto your belly. Tops of the feet down, inhale, take cobra, lift your heart. Exhale to lower, two more times. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to lower. And this time you can stay in cobra pose, maybe even make some snake noises or slide your chest through, lift your heart, tops of the feet down, reach up, upward facing dog, so make some dog noises. And then lower all the way down onto the belly, toes are tucked, shift your hips back, child pose. Make your way back to downward dog, we'll move into warrior two. Take an inhale breath, this time the left leg will go first, lift it up. Step your left foot forward, Push your right heel into the mat and line up your heels. Your right toes are pointed to the top right corner of your mat and then you'll open it up. So your fingertips are extending forward and back. Strong warrior pose. Press down into your feet. Reach out through your hands. Big breath in. Bend your left knee more. Now we can reverse our warrior. Flip your left palm up. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale back. Inhale to warrior two. 
exhale, reverse the warrior. One more time, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Both hands come down to the mat. Step back, downward dog. This time, right leg lifts up to the sky. Check your hands to make sure you have right and left correct. And then step your right foot forward. Your left heel is down and you're gonna line it up with your right heel. Open up your arms and make sure your left toes are pointed to the top left corner of your mat. Right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Take a breath in, go deeper on your breath out. One more strong and proud inhale and exhale. Now let's reverse our warrior three times. Inhale to reach up, exhale, pull it back. Inhale through center, warrior two. Exhale, reverse it. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, uh, warrior, a uh, reverse warrior. Inhale, back through center, both hands windmill down. Let's step back, downward dog. Ripple your spine forward, come to a plank position. If you need to, you can lower your knees. Draw the belly in, press into your hands and exhale takes you all the way down. Untuck your toes again, cobra, or upward facing dog. Take an extra breath in, roll over your toes and make your way back to downward dog. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale. And now slowly walk your hands to the back of your mat, bend your knees a lot, grab your opposite elbows with your he hands, head is heavy, and sway side to side. If it feels okay, you can start to straighten out your legs. Release your arms. Once you get back to the middle, slow roll all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up to the sky and hands back to the heart. And now we'll learn warrior three. Put your hands on your hips, step your feet together to touch. On your inhale breath, bring your hands together like you're clapping. Step your right foot forward, so check if you need to, which is right and left. Come high on your left toes, lift that left heel. And like a teeter-totter, your fingertips reach forward, your left toes reach back. Make a T shape with your body. Maybe you can think of some words that start with T, like my name, Tamara. Stay here, see if you can count to three. One, two, three three and then maybe open up your arms like a big airplane count to three one two three and then step all the way back hands come up and back down to the hips let's try the other side warrior three inhale arms up palms touch step your left foot forward come high on your right toes and like a teeter-totter start to tilt forward and reach your right leg back make yourself in a t-shape Think of some more T words like terrific. Hold here, count to three. One, two, three. Maybe open up your arms like an airplane. One, two, three, and then step back. Feet together, arms up, and back to the heart. Amazing work, everybody. Let's come all the way to the middle of the mat. Take your feet wide, toes out. Heels in, don't worry if you don't have a mat. Wherever you are, just have some space around you so you can move in each direction. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Slowly start to sit down into a little squat pose. Press the inner thighs with your elbows, palms together at your heart, lift your chest. And you're welcome to stay here or you can have some fun with me, a few little frog hops. So bring your hands more forward toward the space in front of you Come up high on your toes and take a little hop and see if you can come more forward. Good, so if you have a yoga mat, maybe you're right at the top or at the front of whichever space you have. Now we'll take three hops back and three hops forward. Are you ready? One, two, three, and let's try forward. One, two, and three, very good. Now you can use your hands or not, slowly come down onto your bum, gather your knees together, extend your legs straight, 
and sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale breath, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. One more time. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Relax the crown of your head. Let the whole back of your body become soft. If you need to, bend your knees. Take three more deep breaths. Try to stretch the back of your legs as much as you can. One more inhale breath here. Stay for your exhale. Slowly roll yourself up. Bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat and come forward a little bit with your hips. And now we'll come into boat pose. So roll back onto your tailbone. You can use your fingers if you need or your toes down. If possible, see if you can lift your legs up and maybe your arms up and try to balance. And imagine you're in a little boat the water's pretty smooth. You can hold it here. Maybe the water starts to get a little rough so it gets wobbly. And if it does, hold behind your knees, pull yourself back up until it feels smooth again. See if you can stay here and count backwards in any language you like from 10. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and now slowly go down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. A big stretch over your head. Point your toes in the opposite direction. Big, big breath in and a full breath out. And then from here, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And imagine your arms are a cactus and open up your arms in a cactus shape. So bend your elbows and start to rock your knees to the right and back through center and to the left. You have to use a strong belly to the right and to the left. And now bring your knees all the way over to the right and leave them there. Can bring your right hand on top look over your left shoulder take three deep breaths breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out bring your head back through center open up your arms again bring your knees back through center all the way to the left side. Remember, you can check with your hands, which is left and right. Look over your right shoulder. Hold your knees with your left hand. Take three deep breaths. Beautiful. Come back through center. Hug your knees into your chest. See if you can make yourself like a tiny little cannonball. Forehead to your shin. Squeeze your knees tight. One more deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then release your arms and legs up to the ceiling. Rotate your ankles and wrists a few times. And then let your arms and legs be soft, hanging here in the air. When you're ready, soften your knees, soften your arms, and lay yourself completely all the way down onto your mat. Let your arms and legs completely relax. Try to stay here for as long as you can, maybe five to 10 deep breaths. Every time you breathe in, let yourself become lighter. Every time you breathe out, feel yourself sinking into the mat. Enjoy this experience of this final rest, the Shavasana pose. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.